Corporate America really started to take notice of pensions in the wake of the dot-com crash in 2000. The result was an acceleration of America's shift away from the defined benefit pensions toward defined contribution retirement plans, which transfer the investment risk from the company to the employee. The move to defined contribution plans has, if anything, increased the likelihood of a major crisis down the line as the baby boomers retire. To begin with, putting relatively complex investment decisions in the hands of individuals with little or no financial expertise is problematic. This month, Jeremy Reddick, CEO of Virtue Advisors, is holding a series of free seminars that will help anyone who plans to retire, whether in the next year or 30 years. His skillfully crafted plans have earned him the title, The Retirement Artist. Jeremy is one of only 400 highly specialized elite IRA advisors in the United States. He is an independent registered representative, investment advisor representative, and an independent insurance agent. Family and faith are the foundations of Jeremy's practice. You're this investment advisor representative, much uh, a registered investment advisor, both the same uh, fiduciary responsibility to act in the best interest of, uh, of your uh, clients in all aspects of your relationship. And that's a different standard than we find with other, other type, uh, say, stockbrokers or, or insurance agents directly. Now, some of those may also be registered investment advisors, and that's something for a consumer, of course, to look for. If there, it, what, something I always end every seminar is this. If, if, if I diagnosed you, Kane, and said that I'm a doctor and I said you need to have bypass surgery, would you just go off of my word and schedule a time to come in and let me cut you open and operate on you? Or would you go and ask for a second opinion? And I've seen all too many times, most clients, they get with their financial advisor and they just stay there on autopilot and they don't go get a second opinion. You will walk away with what I would consider a value. And that value may only be information, something sure. you didn't know, something you're a little more educated on today than you were yesterday. But to come in, no cost, no obligation, for attending this free, no obligation seminar, receive a certificate for a complimentary one-on-one -on -one financial evaluation with Jeremy Reddick. Have all your financial questions answered on the spot. You will learn four easy techniques to help reduce your taxes while potentially reducing risk in your portfolio. Learn to what extent you can benefit from the new Roth IRA conversion laws. Learn how to create a retirement income stream. Receive the keys to potentially stretch your IRA and or retirement plan. I'm able to look at any, any investment that they have. So it doesn't matter what their current holdings are and review that, look at some basic things that are important, but you know, what's their time horizon to, to reti mm -hmm. uh, until they reach retirement or would like to retire? Um, what is their uh, it, risk tolerance that they have? You know, how much risk are you taking on? I see that all the time where they're taking on too much risk. Um, so I'm able to look at all of their assets, look at the plan, uh, look at their risk tolerance, and put a plan together because again, we are fully licensed and I can work with clients in, in a variety of ways. Something I didn't touch on that is really important in my opinion is I'm independent. Mm -hmm. So I'm an independent financial planner. So I like to tell my clients that I, I work for them. And if I'm not getting the job done, they can fire me at any time right. and move on down the road. But with me being independent, I, I don't have to report to someone. I report to my clients. So the number one goal is to put their interest up here above my own and put a plan together that works for them.